Welcome to the short session on planning menus to meet the USDA Child Nutrition Program's meal patterns, presented by the Oregon Department of Education Child Nutrition Programs. In this segment, When to Use, we will briefly go over when and how planning menus to meet the USDA Child Nutrition Program meal patterns can be effectively utilized, including methods of menu planning and when to use them, within all child nutrition programs including child and adult care food programs, school nutrition programs, and summer food service programs. Planning a menu to meet the specific USDA meal patterns for the child nutrition program you are operating is a must. Planning menus in advance can help to ensure a successful food service operation and is vital in ensuring you are meeting the nutritional needs of the participants you are serving. Setting aside time to plan menus ahead of time is important in moving the menu planning process forward. One of the first steps in menu planning includes identifying which method of menu planning is right for your organization. There are two common menu planning methods used in child nutrition programs, fixed and cycle. A fixed menu is defined as a menu which is not subject to change. It is stable. Usually you see a single menu for several months. It could be a series of menus repeated over a specific time period or the same menu for a specific period, i.e. week, month. This menu is designed for participants who do not eat at an operation frequently, i.e. residential child care institutions, RCCIs, drop-in daycare. A cycle menu refers to a menu which is repeated over a specific period of time. The menu is different each day during the cycle and repeats at the end. This menu is designed to provide a variety for participants who eat at an operation frequently, possibly daily. Since the cycle menu method is the best practice for planning menus, we will dive into this method further. Regardless of which menu planning method you choose, the concepts we speak about in this short segment will apply. As a reminder, a cycle menu is a series of menus that are repeated over a specific period of time. For example, a cycle can be four weeks long. The menu is different each day during the cycle, and at the end of the cycle, the menu is repeated. Cycle menus are key to effective menu planning to meet the requirements of the meal pattern. Cycle menus offer flexibility and variety to allow for substitutions. With the additional documentation that is required to ensure compliance, cycle menus will help you save time, simplify ordering and purchasing, and make the paperwork process easier, allowing you more time to prepare great meals for participants. Cycle menus do not have to fit into a specific mold. They can vary based on time frame. Maybe a one-week menu or two or four-week cycle works best for your operation. Cycle menus vary based on the child nutrition program you are operating as well as meal type. For instance, your program may decide to have a one-week breakfast cycle menu, but a four-week lunch cycle menu. Seasonality can affect the type of cycle menu you might use. Maybe you are trying to create a cycle menu for fall, winter, and spring. Incorporating seasonal menu items can impact freshness, quality, and price of your menu. Or you can create a cycle menu that incorporates several different cycles with varying lengths of time and complexity based on the meal type or meal component. For instance, let's say you have the same cycle of signature entree items each week, favorites, but in addition to this you have a four week cycle menu of secondary entrees, fruits, and vegetables. Using cycle menus in child nutrition programs has many advantages. Save time and labor costs. Eliminates continuous planning of menus. Gathering information for crediting food items is more efficient. Purchasing procedures can be standardized and take less time. Menu costs are calculated once per cycle. Standardized grocery lists can be developed. Provides for more efficient production as staff become more familiar with recipes and more efficient in producing them. Allow menu planners to offer a variety of menu selections. The simple act of creating a cycle menu can actually help to keep you out of the menu rut. Since you are able to see what items are being overserved or what items could be added to create greater variety, planners can take advantage of seasonal ingredients and celebration days, as well as seasons, i.e., fall, spring, summer cycle menus. Having menu items and needs set several weeks in advance can help menu planners when items aren't available and substitutions need to be made. Control food costs. Project for the exact amount of food to be purchased with the help from previous production or menu records and other menu planning tools. Regularly used items can be purchased in bulk. Reduce storage costs. Helps purchasers to keep stock at appropriate levels. They help sponsors to look further forward in the menu planning process so they can determine upcoming needs and related expenses. Also, if storage is readily available, take advantage of the USDA foods in a greater way. 
reduce food waste. Menus are prepared repeatedly, making it easier to project food quantities to prepare. Ordering can be tightened up and made more efficient as those doing the ordering understand what participants enjoy and therefore what products need to be purchased in larger or smaller amounts.